Pyramids, Nile, palm trees. One would say Egypt. But there is one important attraction missing. It is a form of entertainment which tracked curious travelers from Europe to Egypt during the 19th century and still does nowadays. It is female dancing. We call it now belly dance. My name is Badria and I have prepared this lecture for you about evolution of dance in Egypt during 19th century. The only source of information how the dance looked like in 19th century are notes and writings of travelers. During the Napoleon invasion between 1798 and 1801, there were groups of researchers who were hired to describe what they saw. Also later, other travelers tried to describe Egypt as accurately as they could, although one can imagine that the background and beliefs of Europeans could shape the way of their writing. Artists, especially painters, seem to capture the atmosphere and dancers properly. However, around 1850s, the artists traveling to Egypt started to portray the dancers in a subjective way. Eroticism, sentimentalism and exoticism wildly appeared. There were even artists painting the Orient from the comfortable chairs in their homes in Europe. Much later, photographers asked some of the girls for posing, trying to capture some sensuality and fantasy of the raw Orient. Some of the girls were even not Egyptians. Therefore, as you will see, dance in Egypt was profoundly shaped by the way Westerners saw dance and especially the way they wanted to see this mythical dance of Orient. In 1717, Lady Mary Montagu described native dance as very different from what I have seen.